Hi everyone, my name is Evangeline and I'm the owner of Makeup Tips. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about a very popular cult favorite product, and that is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Now, I absolutely love this concealer and it's definitely in my top five concealers of all time. It gives amazing coverage, it looks really beautiful on the skin, and all in all, it's just a fantastic concealer. And if you've got dark circles, this is definitely worth a try. Now, as much as I love this concealer, I often see a lot of people applying it in ways that I wouldn't recommend and in my opinion are sort of, they're not the correct ways to use the product. I'm going to be teaching you how to properly apply it and some tips and tricks on how to use it effectively and get the best results possible out of it. First thing that I see people doing an awful lot is just taking this concealer and going zoop and applying it directly underneath the eyes using the included applicator. Now this generally tends to apply far too much product to the under eye area and most people generally do not need that much product. So a lot of people do have an issue with this concealer creasing. In my opinion, the reason that you're having issues with the concealer creasing is because you're applying too much. So if you're doing that technique of just taking the wand filled with product and sweeping it directly underneath your eye area, you're going to apply too much product and it's probably going to have a tendency to crease. So instead of applying it directly on, applying heaps and heaps and heaps and then blending out, it's better off just to apply a few little dots underneath the eyes, blend it out and just continue building it up until you get your desired coverage. That way you're not going to apply more product than you need, which means bonus, you're not going to go through the product as quickly and it's also going to mean that the product doesn't tend to crease as much. So definitely try just applying a few little dots and slowly building it up rather than applying a lot at once. Now you can use the included applicator or alternatively you can place a little bit on the back of your hand then you can take a brush and just apply it sort of dot it underneath the eyes or just do it in that reverse sort of triangle shape if that's more so what you're a fan of and then blend it out now you can use the included applicator for a general person it's probably not going to be too bad but it is an issue sort of when it comes to bacteria etc so if you are someone who's not Who's a, who's a little bit over the top about that, definitely try just applying it to the back of your hand first. I personally tend to apply it to the back of my hand and then I just apply it directly onto my under eye area with my fingertips just to help that product warm up. So you can always use your fingertips or you can use a brush, whichever you desire is up to you, but I generally would not recommend just doing that quick sweeping motion and ending up with way more product than you need. So the next thing that you can use this product for is redness. Now obviously a lot of us do tend to get redness and if you do have a fairer complexion you're probably going to find that you've got a little bit more redness than somebody with a darker complexion because imperfections tend to show up a lot more intensely on lighter skin. So you can just go on and apply this onto your redness and then blend it out with either your fingertips or a brush. Generally you're not going to have a huge area of redness so you can do whatever you want in terms of application, but again, avoid applying too much because that's when it's going to start to look khaki, unnatural, and it's just not going to give that really beautiful seamless effect that you want to achieve with your makeup. So the other thing people use this for is pimples. Now I'm going to try and not turn this into too much of a rant video, but I've got to admit this one does get on my nerves quite a bit. So something that I see so many people doing on YouTube and just in general is they'll take the applicator of the product and apply it directly onto their pimples to conceal it. Now. I get it, you've got pimples, you want something that's full coverage, this is an amazing full coverage concealer, but pay attention to the name. So the name of this is Radiant Creamy Concealer. Now in makeup, one of the biggest rules is that if you've got a pimple or anything that's sort of raised, etc., the last thing that you want to be doing is applying something that's light reflecting and creamy to that area. If you apply this on top of the pimple, not only is it going to move around and it could also further irritate your pimple, but it's going to draw attention to it. Anything that's radiant and light reflecting is going to draw the light to that area and make the area more pronounced. So for that reason, this product is not one for your pimples. No, not one for your pimples. Now, if you are someone who's using it for your pimples and you're like, oh, oh, I've been doing it wrong, 
I'll share with you some of the products that I do recommend for concealing pimples. So first up, we've got the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Concealer. Now this is a very popular concealer. It's a great concealer. It's not one of my all time favorites, but if you're somebody who does tend to have issues with pimples or um, scarring for that matter, this is a fantastic concealer. It's quite thick, it's quite waxy, it's quite dry, which is exactly what you wanna be putting on a pimple. And it's got two shades in it, so you can sort of mix it and match it. So if your pimple is quite red, you can obviously take a little bit of the yellow and use that to counteract any of the redness in the pimple. Now, because it is thick and waxy, it's fantastic. It's going to grip onto your pimple. It's not going to move around throughout the day and it doesn't have any light reflecting particles in it whatsoever. So you're safe. It's not going to draw attention to it. The other one is one of my all time favorite concealers. And I would say that if you could only have one concealer in your collection, this is the concealer that you need. This concealer is absolutely multi-use. You can use it underneath the eyes. You can use it on redness, scarring, discoloration, pigmentation hyperpigmentation, acne scarring, pimples, breakouts, acne, whatever. This is an amazing little product. And that is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. So this is an amazing concealer. And as I said, if somebody was to ask me, what is the one concealer that I need in my collection? It's gonna do everything for me. I don't wanna buy 15 different concealers. I just want one that's gonna do the job. I would say the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This concealer is quite creamy, but then it dries down to a really great matte finish and it's really long wearing. So if you've got sort of pimples, etc., especially pimples that do have a white head or anything on it. This is great because it's going to dry it down and it's also a part of the MAC Pro Long Wear range. So it's not going to be moving all about the place. And it's also super full coverage, so amazing for underneath the eyes. All in all, an amazing concealer. Probably my top one out of my top five, to be perfectly honest. The thesis on this concealer is apply it to the back of your hand first and then apply it to your skin. Work in small and light layers and just keep it away from anything that you don't want to draw too much attention to. So if it's pimples, etc., or raised scars, you don't want to draw attention to them. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you managed to learn a little bit more about the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So maybe if you have been considering purchasing it for a while, or maybe you've had it in your collection, but you find that it creases a lot and a lot and a lot, or you're finding that it's not great for your pimples, maybe now you can sort of get a little bit of a better understanding as to why. If you have been doing it in the ways that I wouldn't recommend, don't worry, there's time to fix it and it's not the end of the world. I hope that you enjoyed it, as I said, and hopefully you picked up some new tips and tricks. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and leave a comment below telling me if you were using this concealer in the wrong way or if you love this concealer versus if you hate this concealer. I'll also leave a link in the description box below where you can purchase this product and I'll also leave links as well to all my social media channels such as Instagram, Pinterest, Tumblr, Snapchat and all of that.